Imagine, you are sitting in a dark room. In front of you is a machine. A gun, but this is not a normal gun. It is a quantum gun. It is not triggered by a human hand. It is triggered by the spin of a single atom. The smallest particle in the universe. The rules are simple. If the atom spins clockwise, the gun fires. You die instantly. If the atom spins counterclockwise, the gun clicks. You live. The odds are exactly 50-50. 50% life, 50% death. You take a deep breath. You press the trigger. What happens next? Logic tells you that you will either hear a click or you will be dead. But quantum physics, it has a different theory. A terrifying theory. It says you will never hear the bang. You will press the trigger. Click. You will press it again. Click. Ten times. A hundred times. The gun will jam. The bullet will miss. The machine will break. Why? Because the universe will not let you die. From your perspective, you are immortal. Welcome to Mind Odyssey. Today, we are going to discuss the most controversial and frightening idea in physics. Quantum immortality. It suggests that your consciousness cannot experience its own end. Every time you face death, the universe splits in two, and you always stay in the timeline where you survive. Prepare yourself. We are about to change your definition of death. To understand this madness, we have to go back to 1935. The Austrian physicist Erwin Schrödinger came up with a thought experiment. He imagined a cat locked inside a steel box. Inside the box, there is a vial of poison and a radioactive atom. There is a 50% chance the atom decays, breaks the vial, and kills the cat. And a 50% chance nothing happens. Now, here's the question. Before you open the box, is the cat alive or dead? Common sense says it is one or the other. But quantum mechanics says, no. Until you open the box, the cat is both alive and dead. At the same time, it is in a state of superposition. But the moment you open the box, the magic breaks. Nature is forced to make a decision. The cat snaps into one reality, alive or dead. This is called wave function collapse. The observer creates the reality. But in 1957, a young student asked a different question. What if the wave function never collapses? What if reality just splits? That student was Hugh Everett. He proposed the many worlds interpretation. He said that when you open the box, the universe physically splits into two separate branches. Think about that. In one universe, you open the box, you see a dead cat, you cry, you bury it. But in another universe, at the exact same moment, you open the box, you see a live cat, you feed it. Both of these worlds are real. They exist in parallel, but they cannot see each other. Every time a quantum event happens, the universe branches. Did you drink coffee or tea this morning? In one world, coffee. In another, tea. Did you cross the street safely? Or did you get hit by a bus? The answer is both. In one world you died. In another world you arrived at work. And this is where quantum immortality begins. Now let's replace the cat. Let's put you in the box. Imagine you are standing in front of that quantum gun again. You pull the trigger. To an outside observer, like your friend watching from behind a glass wall, there is a 50% chance he sees you die. He sees the blood, he calls the police, he attends your funeral. 
In his universe, your story is over. But what about you? What about your consciousness? Here is the key. You cannot experience being dead. Death is the end of experience. It is zero, nothing. Therefore, your consciousness can only exist in the branch where the brain is still working. The branch where you are alive. So, when you pull that trigger, your consciousness slides into the alive branch. You hear a click, you pull it again, click, again, click. You will think it is a miracle. You will think you are the luckiest person on earth. But it isn't luck. It is a mathematical certainty. You are trapped in life. From your own first-person perspective, it is impossible to commit suicide. Because there will always be a one in a trillion branch where the gun jams. Or the bullet is a dud. And you will always find yourself in that branch. You might be thinking, this is just a theory. This doesn't happen in real life. But does it? Think back. Have you ever had a near-death experience? A moment where you should have died? A car accident? A bad fall? A sudden illness? There are thousands of stories online. People say, I remember the headlights. I heard the crash. I felt the impact. And then, suddenly, I was standing on the sidewalk. The car missed me. There was no scratch on me. It felt like the world reset. Is this just adrenaline? Is it a hallucination? Or did you die? Did you die in that timeline? Did your family bury you in that universe? But your consciousness jumped. It jumped to the nearest timeline where you survived. This is why some people link this to the Mandela effect. They remember a world that is slightly different. Because maybe they aren't from this world originally. They are survivors from a dead timeline. But be warned, immortality is not a blessing. In this theory, it is a curse. Quantum immortality does not say you will stay young. It does not say you will be healthy. It only says you will be conscious. Imagine you are 100 years old, 1 to 20, 150. Your body is failing. You are in pain. Your friends are gone. Your family is gone. In 99.9% .9 of timelines, you die peacefully in your sleep. But remember the rule. You cannot experience nothingness. So your consciousness is forced into the 0.01% of timelines where you survive. Maybe on advanced life support. Maybe as a brain in a jar. Maybe as a digital upload. You become the prisoner of probability. The universe will keep finding increasingly unlikely ways to keep you aware. Because zero is not an option. You will watch the world end. You will watch the stars burn out. And you will still be there, observing. This is the dark side of the theory. Survival, at any cost. This leads to the biggest question of all. What is consciousness? Scientists still don't know. If consciousness is just biology, just neurons firing, then it should end when the brain dies. But what if consciousness is fundamental? Like gravity or electricity? Think of a radio. If you smash the radio, the music stops. But the signal is still in the air. It didn't disappear, it just lost its receiver. Quantum immortality suggests that your consciousness is the signal. It navigates through the multiverse, always finding a receiver, always finding a you. It implies that the universe requires an observer to exist. So it cannot kill you, because if you die, the universe disappears with you. So, are you immortal? Maybe. Maybe you have already died a thousand times. In other worlds, but here, right now, you are alive. And from your perspective, you always will be. The next time you cross the street, or get on a plane,
Just remember, death might be something that happens to other people. But for you, it might be a horizon you can never reach. You are walking down an infinite hallway, and there is no door at the end. This is Mind Odyssey. If this theory keeps you awake tonight, subscribe. And tell me in the comments. Have you ever had a moment where you felt like you died and woke up in a slightly different world? I want to hear your story. I'll see you in the next timeline.